today. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to make something super yummy. This is perfect for sleepovers for the kids, um, movie night, game day, all that kind of fun stuff. We're gonna make bubble up pizza casserole and it is really good. Um, let me walk through the ingredients. There's only a handful. We're gonna need some mild Italian sausage, or you can use spicy if you prefer. Um, pepperoni, because it's pepperoni. Um, lots of cheese, we want uh, mozzarella cheese. You wanna get Pillsbury Grand Biscuits. Um, need that puffiness in it, and that's why we need the Grand. And then sauce, that's all we need for this recipe. Let me show you how easy it is to make. There's just a few quick things to prep. Um, we're gonna start by spraying our casserole dish. And I'm gonna set that aside. But we all know why we spray it, right? So it's a lot easier to clean up. So I'm gonna put that right there. I have my pan going. It's on just medium to medium high heat. And I'm gonna add the sausage. This is a mild Italian sausage. I'm like touching it there. So let me, there we go. Got a nice sizzle on it. Love that. And as it cooks, I'm just gonna break it up with my potato masher and um, I'm just gonna cook it until it gets nice and brown. Okay, so my sausage is brown. I'm gonna switch up my workstation a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, as I had mentioned, our sausage is all brown and we could like pour the sausage, um, the fat down the sink, but instead we're just gonna let, I don't want my pizza, my bubble up pizza to be greasy at all. So I'm just gonna kind of spoon it onto a paper towel and spread it out. It's gonna absorb all that grease so it's, it's just a, a really good way to get rid of that without making a whole lot of mess. So. The next thing we're gonna do is, is our biscuits. And gosh, I really should have done this beforehand, but we're gonna cut each biscuit into eight pieces. So here we go, wish me luck. No. I'm not strong enough. Hang on a sec here. Oh, let me peel this back. Yeah. Okay, now let's try this. See how far we get this time. There we go, okay. So we need each biscuit cut into eight pieces. And we're just gonna use, you can use just about anything, but you want them pretty small. Um, this, it's kind of funny. Um, that one I got six, but you wanna break them up a little bit too because if you leave them stuck together, they will stay stuck together. Um, but just, it just takes a quick sec. So just give me a minute, we're gonna do this. Okay, so wasn't that easy? Pretty simple process. So the next thing we wanna do, we're gonna use 15 ounces of um, your favorite sauce, whatever that is. This is actually a 24 ounce jar, so we're gonna use about two thirds of it. Let's see if I can get that up again, there we go. About two thirds, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. A little bit more. You'll never make pizza the old fashioned way again, trust me on that. And then we just wanna stir it together and make sure that everything's all saucy. Perfect. And then let me take you to the next step. The next thing we're gonna do is add our drained sausage. Remember this is browned and drained. It's all I could do not to snack a piece because that smells so good. And just give it another good stir. You're gonna love how easy this is. And it's just like everybody loves this one. See how nice and saucy that's looking? Out comes our prepared casserole dish. And from here, 
We're just going to spoon this into the casserole dish or pour it in. It's going to go nice. And set that aside. And just spread it, spread it out evenly. I, I understand it doesn't look like much right here, but it's going to, trust me. Okay. And next comes the cheese. We're going to use plenty of cheese. I love a good cheesy, cheesy pie, that's for sure. But I kid you not, like for family <coughs> night, this is so good. You guys, I have to laugh. I, I don't know if you hear a little barking in the background, but my super old dog is determined that there's something scary going on. <laughs> she keeps barking every now and then. I appreciate your patience with that. So anyway. We have our cheese on our pizza, on our bubble up pizza. And now we just have to add the pepperoni. So you can add as much or as little as you prefer. And you can line them up like, like little soldiers here. You can put them randomly across the, across the dough, whatever works for you. <coughs> that doesn't work well for me though. <laughs> okay, I think I have her quieted down for a minute. She's just really nervous today, what can I say? Um, so again, just adding those yummy pepperonis and as many or as few as you'd like. You could skip it, I suppose, because we do have the sausage and just make it a sausage pizza. Um, I've actually done this where it was like a, a reaping pizza with, oh gosh, um, I had mushrooms and olives and onions and bell peppers, it was super yummy. But today we're keeping it simple. And to save just a little bit of cheese, and I'm just gonna push that, put that right over the top. Okay, this is ready to go in the oven. Doesn't even need to be covered. I'm gonna bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes, and you're not gonna believe how good this looks when it comes out of the oven. We'll see you in a couple, okay? Hey guys, I thought I'd just show you, this is why this is called bubble up. As the heat hits those biscuits, it just starts to rise. Check this out. Oh my goodness, talk about cheesiness. Has about 10 minutes left. You guys, you're gonna love this. It's the big reveal here. Oh my goodness. Does this look phenomenal or what? Let's go have some pizza. Now it's the best time. I love pizza night, don't you? So is this not gorgeous? Um, fresh out of the oven, it is a, a sausage and pepperoni pizza, bubble up pizza. And I'm just gonna cut a little piece here. Oh my goodness, it's cheesy and meaty. It's like got all the things. Doesn't that look good? But you know, I don't know why, <laughs> call me weird, but I love my pizza with ranch dressing. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little drizzle of ranch. I don't know, it just like, it just like makes the pizza. And I've done this before, like if you're having a party and you want it to serve an appetizer because it kind of comes out in little bites anyway and then just serve ranch dressing for dip. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now this is like super, super hot. Oh, and it's cheesy. I should learn by now. Do not take such big bites. <laughs> Guys, you definitely have to give that a try. Bubble up pizza. What do you think? Five minutes prep, maybe 10. Into the oven it goes. It's cheaper than going and getting a takeout by far and it tastes better too. Hope you give it a try. Don't forget, make sure you like and subscribe. Head over to um, TikTok, give me a follow there, share with your friends, stop by the blog, bullmeover.com. We'll see you next time.